You're the best mommy ever. You're the best mommy ever. It ain't me. I'm bringing this bad boy overseas with me. Yeah, I'm so excited. I had to share that with y'all. Top things I wish I knew sooner in my 20s. Before my obsession with all things law of attraction. But I had to take that off because I was looking like a crackhead. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. Why is the camera so high? Anyway, welcome to a new vlog. Me and Zara just got back from Target and Chick-fil-A. Got like an activity for her to do. She saw this in Target, I wanna say the last time we were there, but she wasn't being a good girl, so she couldn't get it. Now she's been acting good. Let me see, she saw this in Target last time we went, so this morning she asked her daddy if she can get it. She'd get it for her. It's a donut truck, thank you. It's this big old donut truck that she can build and create which is really cool because she is very artsy it's always so fun to see like what traits your kids get from you so zara she definitely has my artsy and creative side and then from her dad she definitely has like his analytical side so it's just so fun to watch that i got a package in i got my chick-fil-a but i'm gonna show y'all if this is what i think it is i'm gonna share it with you guys <laughs> i slipped up in my last video about where i'm going but I'm like, people don't be watching this for real. So I already know y'all didn't even see or hear what I said. So it's a win for me. But um, I saw this thing on TikTok. One of my mutuals on TikTok, her name is Lena. And she had lost her engagement ring um, right when she was about to board her flight. And she ended up finding it like in the Atlanta trash can. Crazy girl, I would have dug through that trash can too. But then she made another video and people were telling her, hey, you need to get like a fake engagement ring that is similar to yours to bring overseas and just leave your real one at home. And y'all, when I tell y'all I have the most anxiety when it comes to that wedding ring of mine and my wedding band because I've had slip ups before twice in like the same week and that feeling of your heart literally just sinking, I don't like that. So I was like, oh wow, I'm gonna do this. So you just basically just buy a ring that is similar to yours. Okay, this, the shape is similar to mine, but that clarity ain't it. I have a VBS, so yeah, this clarity is definitely not it. However, it is the same, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's the same shape and everything as mine. I'll show y'all mine if y'all have never seen it, which I'm sure you have. I haven't worn it a lot lately. I don't wear it now if my husband's not with me. Like, I just, I just don't. So, but yeah, this is it. This one's all kind of crooked and stuff, but, Hey, it's a good like fake thing to have, especially if you have something that you truly value and cherish and you just don't want to lose it. I was like, that's such a good idea. So when we go on my birthday trip, I'm gonna be wearing this thing. I ordered a fake band of mine too. That one's not here. Maybe it'll be here today, I don't know. But yeah, I got this off Amazon. It's the same exact shape. I have a pear shape ring. Fits pretty well and it'll definitely expand in the heat, but yeah. It looks very similar to mine. The quality is terrible. It's a little bit smaller. Just the diamond's just a little bit smaller than my diamond. I'm bringing this bad boy overseas with me and I'm leaving mine safe and sound at home. And then I wanna try out this later on today. I have a lot of, lot of admin stuff to do only because I'm trying to make sure y'all have content while I'm gone. So I'm like stocking up on my, my video, my footage, all that, doing everything I gotta do with my agency before I leave. Cause I ain't about to be on my phone. I ain't talking to nobody. I ain't responding to no emails. I'm not editing nothing. I'm gonna be vlogging, but I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, nope, I am relaxing on this vacation because I deserve it. Me and my husband deserve it. I'm turning 30, so get up on my face. But yeah, that's what <laughs> I've been doing with all of my like footage and everything. So by the time y'all are seeing this, I will definitely, definitely be. These are some nails. Y'all know I'm a press on queen. I'm gonna just show y'all later what I'm gonna do with these, but I have a pretty good idea. I'm not putting this hack on TikTok because y'all know TikTok ruins everything, okay? TikTok ruins everything. So I'm not putting this on TikTok. This is just for me and you, me and my community on here. Because look, ugh. Remember when I was putting out on Summer Fridays and this was way before it got popping? I never put Summer Fridays on TikTok, ever. I never put it on there. I only told y'all about it. Didn't I say it was gonna get popping? Cause I be knowing, that's why. Because I be knowing. I'm not even an influencer and I be knowing, okay? So yeah, Summer Fridays is now just like all over the damn place. All of a sudden everybody does it, everybody loves it and it's just sold out everywhere now. So not putting that on TikTok. Um, 
But yeah, I'll show y'all some more stuff later. I'm gonna eat and then I gotta get in my office and get to editing some brand videos and doing voiceovers, all that stuff. So I will catch y'all in a little bit. All right, we ate. Now we're gonna try to put together Zara's little donut truck. It's boots down there making all that noise. I think it's just like four sides. It doesn't look that complicated. She can either paint, color, do whatever. This is like a really good activity for her just to keep her occupied. Um, I, I hate that mom guilt that comes with like me having to do work in her kind of just, you know, being down here by herself and all of that. Like granted, she has a lot of things to keep her occupied, but I still don't want her alone all day. So I have a lot of mom guilt that sets in with that, which is one of the biggest reasons why I'm not a stay at home mom anymore. And so many people felt like I just owed them an explanation for that. And you really don't. I think that's something with social media too, like that comes with being like a content creator, influencer, whatever it is that you do. Once you build like a community and stuff and you start sharing parts of your life, first of all, we share what we feel like we should share. Not everything that goes on in the in our lives or other people's lives, they share. So, you know, people make like a lot of assumptions off of that because you're not giving the full like backstory to certain things. But I feel like as content creators, we're allowed to have those boundaries and we're allowed to just, you know, not share too much. You know what I'm saying? So, if, and then it leads into this thing of like people expecting you to just share everything it's like no like i don't i don't owe you guys an explanation for anything if i don't feel like i have to explain that part of me like if somebody says hey like i don't want to do this anymore i don't feel like you have to dig deep and to be like okay well why not like you did all of this to go there like why don't you want to do it like don't you think people have come <laughs> and had that conversation with themselves or somebody else and have come to a decision and they're like, okay, like this is the best decision for me in this moment or for me in this situation or whatever it is. Like, don't you think they've thought about that? So it's not like something crazy. I just woke up and I was like, I'm not going to be a stay-at-home mom. No, it's a lot that played into it. But I don't feel like I had to explain that to anybody. You know, life changes and it's okay for life to change. And that's why I don't be telling nobody nothing because what y'all not about to do is sit here and judge me off of my decisions. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, I'm still a really good mom. I believe I'm still a great mom. Yeah, I still yes, have my... Are. Thank you, baby. I have my days where, you know, I just... You know, I have my days where I'm like, dang, I feel like I could have did better that day. But overall, I think I'm a great mom. Um, so, yeah. You are. Thank you, baby. You're the best mom ever. I'm the best mom ever. Yeah. Thank you, baby. You're nice and pretty and beautiful. Thank you. Everybody loves you. <laughs> So does daddy. So does daddy. <laughs> hey look, I'm in an ice cream truck. Yeah, we have to connect the pieces. So this is what it's looking like, y'all. Let me show you guys. Okay, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. Wow. This is hey look, this is L. This is the door. came out it's pretty easy to put together here it's obviously just like flimsy because it is cardboard but very cute um she's hey, pretty hey tall so we're just gonna keep we're Whoa, just gonna keep I can the, get um, the roof off cool, right? so that she's able to stand in there and everything the roof is over there if she does want to paint it but yeah she's gonna start painting um we got paint from the same brand hey. it's called mondo llama in Target, so this is where we got it from. I'll link it down below for y'all if you care to get this for your okay, kids. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, this is gonna be her activity. Remember, we keep the paint here or on your desk, okay? Okay. Okay, and don't forget to get a water. Words vibrating in your here and now in a way that aligns with your desire. To feel now, how you'll feel when what you want manifests is what allows the desire to manifest. But before my obsession with all things law of attraction, I was much more focused through the crack of least resistance, vibrational signal that you are emanating. Something is unwanted. Abraham says it makes no difference whether you want the past is past. Think feelingly on any subject. Be a truly deliberate creature. Has anything to do with now, unless it I'd like to with your past operation. Right, sure. It was so recreate. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm really excited for you to be part of this program. And I know you said through your concept, which apology I haven't had a moment. Mm -hmm. um, like sign up for. Mm -hmm. like, yes, like a, yes. 
the easy morning routine or evening routine. No questions, I'm excited. Thank you, it's nice to meet you. Good morning, y'all. Um, what y'all just saw was just me getting ready for my meeting with uh, my agency and my brand deal. This has been like my easiest breakfast. Chocolate croissants, you have to let them sit overnight. I just love watching these just sit and just rise overnight. But uh, they also have the almond ones. But my favorite is the chocolate. The almond is good, but I just feel like the chocolate just, oh, I just, I just love this. So yet again, it is another admin day. It's supposed to be pouring down rain today at some point. I don't know when, cause the sun just came out. So, mm. but um, I also have some packages coming in today. So I'll just include that. Y'all seem to like <laughs> when I show what packages I get in and like clothes and stuff. Gonna go do some more admin stuff. And then um, I'll see you in a little bit. Let me tell y'all how funny God is, how delivering God is. So I have emphasized this so much on TikTok, YouTube, <laughs> how much I love this builder out here. It's a custom builder out here. And there's this like specific area that I just like fell in love with. I've, I, um, I've showed it on my YouTube before, like the road and all that stuff, but I don't know, it was just something about that place and I found it by accident while I was heading to Sally's one time last year. And I was like, what is this hidden gem? Like, I am talking the most beautiful and perfect houses. Like, I can't exaggerate it. It's just, it's so beautiful. Every home there is custom. There's no cookie cutter, nothing. It's hidden, it's in the hills, the woods are surrounding everyone's property. And I'm talking about, they got houses out there like worth high heavy millions, okay? Like up there in the 50 millions, hundreds of millions, like there's some big houses out there. So, you know, me being me, I'm like, dang, like, let me manifest. <laughs> And it's so funny because it's like a specific road too, like to get to it. And that road in particular, that's the only way I remember it because that name always stands out to me when I see it. So um, one of the builders that builds in that area, I saw that he was building over here, not too far from where we live now. And he built like a whole community, but it's sold out. And I was like, what? I didn't know he built over here, but he built like his own little subdivision, like right over here. I was like, dang, if I knew about those homes before they sold out, I promise you I would have been in one. And then we were driving through it yesterday, the new construction over here. And I was like, wow, these are some good sized yards too. Like this ain't bad. So we decided to finally contact him. And that's just so funny like how God works, because he's one of the first builders that I fell in love with out here. Um, that isn't like a, you know, your typical like Toll Brothers. Like y'all know I love Toll Brothers, but Toll Brothers, you know, they build the same houses for everyone. I have decided I 100% want custom. And the thing about this builder, no no two houses are the same of his. Everything is always different. And that's, that's something I love, because I'm about sick and tired of my house looking like somebody else's. So we contacted him, customer service is like 1 million percent great. Like the builder, great customer service. And so we finally picked out a day to finally go tour. So he sends the house and it's like a house that's almost done. So he sends us the information. Tell me why this house is on that exact road that I literally drive through as I'm manifesting. Like I drive through that road. I try to go at least once a month at minimum. Once a month, just drive through it. And I'm like, that is so crazy. So I was just telling my husband, did you see the road name? Like it is literally on the road that I go through, that specific road that I go through. Like, cause it could have been through any of those. You know what I'm saying? Like it could have been through any of the connecting roads, but it's on that exact road. And I was like, and then just looking at the pictures of it, it's not even done. And it's like a beautiful, beautiful masterpiece. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go tour. We're touring it Thursday. Thursday, I also have to finish filming one of Zara's brand videos. So Thursday's gonna be a busy day, but I wanna like show you guys pieces of the house. I don't wanna show all of it because it is somebody else's property. And um, you know, when people build custom and stuff, they not trying to show all their stuff, you know, just to have respect for the owners. But yeah, I'm so excited. I had to share that with y'all. Also, I just got another package from Revolve. So let's check it out. First of all, let's get into how Revolve's like system aside from the app always signing you out of your account but other than that their system with like returns and exchanges excellent i actually got offered a partnership with them last year um which i was completely shocked by but i denied it because i was like this isn't like stuff that 
I would buy during that time. I was like, this is not anything that like I would buy. And now I find myself on that damn website almost every single day. So I just thought that was funny. But yeah, their customer, not, they're not their customer service. I'm sure their customer service is great. I haven't used them yet, but like exchanges and returns and stuff is so seamless. It's that's why I said, y'all, let me find out. Revolve is like prime. But anyway, I got these um, sandals from Revolve for vacay. Everything y'all see me open is for vacation. I don't feel like I gotta keep saying that. But I had to exchange them because I got a 910. I'm a size 10. My foot grew when I was pregnant. Has that happened to anybody else? I used to be a nine and a half. After I had Zara, my foot was a whole 10. Like nine and a half does not fit. So I got the 910 and then they were just like the tiniest bit short. They were definitely more nine than 10. So I have to return them for the 1112. And these are the shoes. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Very, very, very comfortable. Yeah, let me try these on and see how these ones fit. I'm hoping these ones aren't too big. Cause I was like, dang, 1112 sound huge for me. Oh no, these are good. Okay, so these ones are definitely more like the size. Can y'all see? <laughs> these are definitely more than the, don't be judging my toes, I need to get them done. But yeah, these are more of the size that I need. They're so comfortable. Um, my doctor definitely advised against wearing sandals, which I won't be, but for the beach, I need to be wearing sandals. I'm not gonna be wearing no heels on the beach. That ain't me, and it never will be. I can add this to the vacation collection of shoes. In case you're interested in looking for a nice, like cute beach bag, Target has some, but Target is so overpriced. I was like, girl, I can make this bag for cheaper, for real. But this, I got this for like $30 on Amazon and I bought it during Prime Day and it was like another five or six dollars off. So yeah, I got a pretty good discount on it. Cute beach bag, it's a really good size. Um, here's the inside and then it does have like a little latching piece right here. You just close it up. It's a little hard to get on, I'm not gonna lie. So I won't be latching this cause it's gonna piss me off. But it does like close on there, but I'm not gonna be doing that. So yeah. Is there a pocket inside? Oh, and then also this is another thing I like about it. So you can protect your stuff from getting sand all on it. You can close up the drawstring and voila. None of your stuff will get sandy. Nothing will get in it. And I love it. Just super, super cute. Love it. Can't wait to show you, very excited. Everything's coming together. My husband sent me this video of like some packing hacks because Y'all know I'm a carry-on queen, but I'm like, dang, I think I'm gonna need a check-in. I need to get back to editing and I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. child's lunchtime means are eating basically the same thing my husband made turkey tacos last night but i use lettuce wraps instead of the tortilla because i'm trying not to eat carbs at night because you know I eat them throughout the day at least you have time to burn them throughout the day if i feel like if i eat them that night even though we do technically burn carbs in our sleep it ain't as much as we hope for so stop eating carbs at night um so i'm just eating it's a very like, these are like where my biggest meals are. It's not even really big. It's a whole lot of lettuce, <laughs> more than anything and a lot of protein. So I got my, I kind of just turned into a bowl cause I was like, I need to eat carbs today. Like I need some energy. So the rice is a white jasmine rice and brown jasmine rice mix because I ran out of the white and I had brown left. So I was like, let me just mix it, whatever. And I added the turkey protein from last night, some avocado, some corn, um, it's like a lote corn. And then I got some pineapple sauce on top with some tomatoes and then lettuce. And then I have my protein shake, protein, protein, protein. And then I have my little Trejo's uh, turmeric shot. Y'all know I, I do still juice. I just don't be recording nothing because juicing and recording is a lot. But if y'all wanna see some of the recipes I've been doing with my juicing and stuff, let me know down below and I got you. Um, yeah, about to eat lunch. Just chill out for a little bit, give my mind a break. We'll probably go on a walk after this, maybe. We'll see. And then, yeah, gym later. 
So I put on that um, Kinfield Daily Dew moisturizing. I put on just like a little bit of this today, but I noticed it has made my face like super just like you see it's kind of like it stayed like that even with my makeup on top and i was like why does my makeup look so funny i wear the same like when i do do the like uh facial moisturizers and stuff the tinted moisturizers i'm like why it look like that it's like this like white cast that has stayed from that that's the only thing i changed up today so i'm about to take it off because i do not like how that made my makeup sit today also like my um pacifica pr aside from the glosses because i already had tried the glosses on my lips um i'm gonna do a giveaway here on youtube and then i'm also i'm not just gonna be like throwing away stuff that i don't like i don't, I don't want it to feel like that i also want to put in the box like um some of the brands that i really love to use for skincare like kiehl's and coco kine you know, stuff like that. I wanna include that in the box. So if you're watching this and you're hearing this part, congratulations, you can enter into the giveaway. So it's just gonna be a box just full of um, a lot of products that I love and stuff like that. But in order to make it, you know, good for your skin type and stuff, don't mention the giveaway in the comments at all. Just don't mention it. And then also, Let's see, let's just, let's do it like this. Leave a comment on what brought you to like hit subscribe or like watch my videos on TikTok or not TikTok, <laughs> to watch my videos here on YouTube. So yeah, you must be subscribed to me, obviously hit the like button on here and then just leave a comment. It doesn't have to be long. If you wanna make it long, that's fine. I love reading long comments, but just leave a comment on like what brought you to my YouTube channel, you know? Like just what what kept you coming here and then also leave the type of skin that you have like are you oily type are you a dry skin are you combo that way i know when i go buy the brand what to put in the box i'm not buying you like a oily cleanser in your dry skin it's just gonna dry you out you know what i'm saying so yeah if you're seeing this go ahead and comment down below remember do not mention the giveaway because this is gonna be for the people that watch the video all right it's gonna be if it's just one person that watched it hey this box is gonna be coming to you but yeah i'm gonna have some stuff in there like coco kind some keel stuff i'll probably even throw in um let's see what else can i throw in like my facial cream like my benefit or not benefit belief love this so i'll just get like a little products that i love and stuff like that but i had to take that off because i was looking like a crackhead <laughs> looking like a whole crackhead i said what but yeah comment down below y'all also make sure you leave your instagram name so that i'm able to contact you through dm um just yeah leave your instagram handle my instagram handle is right here so if you do not see the message coming from this account it ain't me okay it is not me but yeah leave your instagram handle as well and that's how i will be contacting you so i'll probably be picking the winner once i get back from vacation so that's gonna be like end of august so let's shoot for like august let's do august 20th that's a sunday okay cool i think sunday's a good day to pick somebody so yeah i'll pick the winner august 20th let's get it going my first giveaway how exciting wow i feel so good about it i was gonna do a giveaway on tiktok a while ago but TikTok started to play me, so I was like, how are people even gonna see that I'm having a giveaway on there? I'm also gonna be doing a, a really big giveaway that um, towards the end of this year, like Christmas time frame, probably in the month of November, so that you can have it by December 1st. I can't tell you what that is yet, but just know, that's gonna be really exciting. But yeah, anyway, welcome to the first giveaway. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to head out to the gym with the family. Um, I always put on like a little small scent when I work out. That's just my preference. Uh, let's see. This one. Opium. I normally always use my Zara tuberose, but I am clearly running out. So, and that's it. All right, y'all. I am fresh out the shower. I already got dinner started. Um, had a good workout. It was leg day. Y'all know I love me some leg day. But I thought I'd close this vlog out 
with um okay by the time y'all see this my birthday would have already passed i'm already in my 30s my birthday is august 2nd by the way if you're wondering but yeah by the time you guys are watching this i would have already turned 30 so i thought it would be nice while i do my skincare routine to like talk about the top things i wish i knew sooner in my 20s uh, since I'm leaving that whole decade behind. So I'm gonna make it real short, simple, ain't gonna get too, too preachy on y'all cause you know how I can get there. But we gonna keep it short and simple. The first thing I would say that I wish I knew sooner in my 20s, having multiple streams of income. This was something I learned like mid 20s, but I definitely wish I knew it sooner going into my 20s. It would have been a lot more beneficial then. I mean, hey, we got multiple streams of income now. Excellent. Hey? But if I would have known what I knew today, going into my 20s, yeah, multiple streams of income. One income is too close to no incomes. And we don't want that for ourselves. I don't want that for you. So yeah, multiple streams of income, whether that be, you know, the world is so virtual now. It's so easy to get a job online. It's so easy to work from home, get a part-time job, do a little some some here on the side, you know what I'm saying? And then once you get to a point that you're able to make that passive income and passive income is money that takes little to no effort money you can make in your sleep you know what i'm saying once you get to that level like you're golden so that that's just something i wish i knew more about like investing into real estate sooner one would be to not overshare and to know that not all company is good company and that goes for family friends co-workers or people you socialize with daily or weekly um we can we tend to get or i'll speak for myself i tend to get very excited especially when i have like a new idea or something i want to do or something i want to accomplish and old me would just overshare you know what i'm saying and i would just talk about it before it even happened share it to people I, who i swore all my life were my friends and stuff like that and i learned to just not say anything the only person that knows anything that goes on is my husband and that's because I know 100% he supports me. But not everybody needs to know what you got going on. Because once they know, people can get into your head. People can root against you. People can pray against you. That is a thing. That's a topic for a whole other day. And you just don't want anything getting into your head when you have your mind set on something. That's probably the worst thing you can do for yourself. Is let people with doubt get into your head of things that you want in this life. Do not overshare. Share it once it's done. Because once it's done... Who can tell you anything? Nobody. They can't say nothing because it's already done. Before I close it out, I told you guys it was gonna be, it was gonna be a quick one. This is a good one though. Spend time with yourself. Spend time alone. I feel like TikTok social media has really ruined what that actually means nowadays. I, I feel like people are just like doing it as like a trend. Like, oh, I. I, you know, I date myself. I spend time with myself in the morning, you know, but what are you doing it for? Are you just doing it to record yourself and be like, hey, look, I spend time with myself. Or are you doing it to actually explore yourself, get to know what you like, get to know what challenges you, get to know what you dislike, get to know what you will accept from this life, get to know what you won't accept from other people, learning new boundaries about yourself. Are you releasing and letting down walls? Like, what are you doing when you're by yourself? You know, so really take time to just understand who you are, what you like, and be okay with being alone. Go figure out like what really interests you in this life, not things that are trending on social media. And if those are things that actually interest you, then that's great. But figure out what actually interests you, you know, go challenge yourself, do something new, join a new club, go on a staycation, you know, treat yourself to some something luxurious over the weekend, Put place yourself in the lifestyle that you want, place yourself in the in the areas that you want surround yourself by the people that you want to be like you know go on the social media cleanse for a whole weekend and just do a whole bunch of stuff that you love or things that you want to try out try out new foods and when you're done doing all of that give yourself credit because it's not easy to be alone and do things especially if you're so used to being surrounded by people all the time which is how i was but i was forced into having to just be alone by myself once i joined the navy and was forced out to the east coast i had to really really be okay with myself and figure out you know what i what i really appreciated about myself and things that i wanted to change and once i did that my standards for like relationships and stuff completely changed and that's exactly how i met my husband so 
really spend time with yourself and do it for you not for social media or trends or anything like that like really get to know yourself um that's my top five right there y'all of course i have more but i wanted to keep it keep it real simple you know um i'm also going to be talking about this for like a short and a TikTok. but yeah y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm super excited about the giveaway super excited to give y'all that gift as my birthday gift like because who would i be without my community and y'all watching my content and my family and growing with us over the past year you know what i'm saying like how how could i be here right now so i thought it'd be fun to just share skincare since that's something that i like literally preach all the time but um yeah y'all thank you so much for watching this video i'm gonna go eat chill out with my family and then chill out with my husband in the movie room we're gonna watch a scary movie together Bye.